Worldwide chaos is breaking out over the new $50 Stanley Cups. People stealing, fighting, and stampeding like wild elephants. And I'm sorry to say, but this might be the end of human civilization as we know it. Why am I seeing videos of people fighting over a Stanley Cup? They went live in Target last week. People started trampling each other and spending millions to get The them. amount of craziness that these women are bringing at like five in the morning for a cup is insane. Afternoon, everybody. Stanley. So as you can see at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely wild what's going on out there. I mean, all this over a $50 stainless steel cup, but it does have a straw. What is so special about a Stanley cup? Stanley's 40 ounce quencher cup gained rapid popularity for its candy-like array of colors and its ability to keep beverages hot or cold for long periods of time. Cool, so people want it because of the color. Now trust me when I say this, ladies and gentlemen, but you're not even gonna believe some of the clips we're gonna look at today. You wouldn't even think it's planet Earth at this point. Now in case you've never heard of Stanley cups before, basically they've been around for a while now, but the reason the crisis is happening right now is because of the Valentine's Day special ones. Target stores across the country are gearing up for Valentine's Day with a limited edition Stanley Cup. Yes! And crowds of Stanley fans are fighting for, while stores are quickly selling out of the coveted tumbler. <laughs> Sold out in less than four minutes. Like a bunch of feral ghouls surrounding flesh. They're like the goblins from Clash of Clans going straight for the gold mines. I mean, look at this kid. You know, son, slow down. He was about to Usain Bolt that shit. I mean, look at his foot placement. It looks like he's prepared for a 100 meter sprint. But that's not even the worst of it. I just wanted to show you guys this clip real quick as a little teaser for what's in store for the rest of the video. And trust me, it gets worse. I mean, this is just peak human evolution if I ever saw it. They're like a bunch of fucking wild animals, man. I'm not gonna lie though, I mean. They, they, they are pretty cool, right? I, I might just buy one, yeah, because I do want one because you know I do have a I do drink coffee every day, all right, and I put Stanley on there just so I can feel you know included with the rest of the crowd. I mean, I understand why people would want to buy them, but I definitely don't get why people are camping outside Target at 3 a.m. waiting for the store to open just so they can get their hands on a Stanley Valentine's Day cup. But just before we carry on, guys, I think an appreciation is in order. I want to thank you guys so much for showing me all the love recently on all the videos. I've been trying to give it back as well. I even tried replying to every single comment on my last couple of videos. So if you comment on this one, I'll probably reply to you. Yeah. Leave a like down below, guys, and subscribe to the channel. We're posting daily at the moment. I've wasted so much of my life in the last four years not focusing on YouTube. But this time, we're back, baby. And we're doing it for realsies. So subscribe, guys. It would mean a lot. I promise you I'm going to be bringing you some quality content. And as always, Jerry's in the audience today. All right, so let's get into this, guys. Let's read this article real quick. Since it hit the Starbucks stores and Target locations, many customers spent hours waiting in line. Some camped out in the parking lot. Others got into a tense altercation, and at least one man risked catching a case, as per Complex. The winter pink hue Stanley Cup, priced at $49.95, is especially popular among consumers. I mean, that is just wild, isn't it? Waiting in line for hours for a $49 Stanley Cup. Stanley definitely knows what they're doing. Everyone and their mom wants one. I don't know. I still can't wrap my head around paying that much for a cup. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eve Carly Love. Spot on, my friend. These guys must be the non-playable characters of the world. I mean, after all these years of human evolution, surely this can't be it. This can't be the pinnacle right here. I'm telling you right now, if aliens wanted to come down from space to expand their intelligence on Earth, I would tell them don't bother, because this is the fucking IQ you're dealing with. I've seen it all now. I've seen I've seen it all. I bet you as well that's the first time they've jogged in years. In fact, that's probably the fastest they've ever run in their lives. How sad is that? Look at this! Even the fucking old aged woman is fucking speed walking. <laughs> Ooh, Jerry, please help me. But like I said, I do understand the hype around them, okay? They're very cool. They have nice colours, they have a nice straw on them, but this this is fucking inhumane. I mean, someone even fell over from running. Extraterrestrial beings, don't bother, right? There's nothing down here for you, right? Nothing at all. You're not gonna learn anything new, right? You're not gonna expand your IQ or anything. Don't even bother coming to Earth, all right? It, it, honestly, it's it's tragic. I mean, here's another clip from another Target store of everybody running to the Stanley Cups. Look at this. What a scene, I tell you. Look at that person just fell over. Hey, who fell?
fell over. <laughs> Bloody hell, bud, what's happened to your arm? Oh, yeah, I broke it in about nine places, man. Ooh, sounds nasty. Is that from, like, a workout injury? No, not in the gym, man. I, uh, I was running down the aisle to get a Stanley Cup and, uh, fell over and broke my arm. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, please tell me you're with me on this. I mean, it's not even, like, the new iPhone or anything. It's, it, it's literally a stainless steel cup, and this is the amount of chaos it's causing. This is why people are losing in life. They'd rather stand in a queue for hours waiting for a stainless steel cup and spend the time leveling themselves up. It's literally one of those cases of monkey see, monkey do. And honestly, if you guys think I'm coming too hard for these guys, think about it. People could spend their time leveling themselves up, hitting the gym, focusing on being a better person, on their grind, you know, for 2024, really making this year their best year. But instead, fucking sitting outside a shop waiting for Stanley Cups. People are even going as far as risking their freedom. A cup is worth jail time. Internet reacts to a man jumping over Starbucks counter to steal Stanley Cups. I mean, this is something you'd see in a comedy movie. They just, look at them. They're trying to steal. You guys, this is insane. Look at this dupe, stupid. Get him, get him. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Get him. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Stop him. Stop her! Stop her! Somebody, she tried to grab my bag, you guys. Look at, this is insane. Look at this. He is insane. Look at this. Yeah. Good. No, 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 it's okay. We're gonna call law enforcement, they'll take care of it. This is just wild. Wow! I have never once seen anyone do anything to stop thieves at a place like Target slash Walmart. But it's for a Stanley Cup. The man had a death wish. I mean, this guy that she jumped over the counter in Starbucks, nicked a pink Stanley Cup and tried to bolt it for the doors. And then, of course, the takedown came, which was absolutely superb. But I'm guessing this woman is with the thief. And the guy took the thief down, and then the, the woman sat hitting the guy on the head, trying to get him off the thief. So clearly they were both involved in this and they both ran away after. But here's another angle of this wild gorilla stealing the mug from behind the counter. You're a fucking loser. That cup better have the power to undo all of my mistakes because I tell you what, I ain't risking my freedom for a $50 cup. But it's just insane. This woman and man were literally arguing seconds before this theft was taking place. It's like, why are you arguing over Stanley Cups? And look at the way he just maneuvers himself through everybody, just pushes people out of the way, literally kicks the bin into this woman's feet. And then the guy that's guarding the front door, he straight up shoulder barges the dude in the face. Guys, I'm sorry, but this just doesn't seem worth it to me. Like, this whole thing is, like, not on. Like, for me, it's insane, all right? I, 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 I don't know, okay? It's making me really sad that this is what humans are like now, like, don't humans think anymore? But if you weren't aware, ladies and gentlemen, there's also a thing known as Stanley Cup collectors. No hate, obviously, okay. But why not, like, collect, like, old coins or World War II relics or, you know, Pokemon cats? I mean, Stanley Cups? Come off it, will you? So this is my updated Tumblr wall. I literally have that much space. And these tumblers don't even include my non-Stanley Starbucks tumblers and the other designs of Stanley's. I have way too many tumblers. I need to downsize. I guarantee you she probably only drinks from one of those, two at the maximum. I mean, the wall is just covered in metal and plastic cups. I mean, look, no hate for collecting them, okay? Fair enough. But you're not exactly going to flip them, are you? You just want to hoard them in your house. Becoming a hoarder. This is what this is. It's not like as if you hold onto a Stanley Cup for 10 years and then all of a sudden it becomes worth $2,000. Like, there's just no way. And listen to some of these comments on the post. That's a good $2,750 on your wall. Absolute madness. I could pay for three months of rent with that money. I'm sorry, I can never justify spending this much money on cups. I mean, yeah, who could justify it? It's crazy. And if you have a Stanley Cup at home, let me know. Give me a little review on it in the comment section. I really want to know, guys. And also comment down below, let me know if you agree with me or not. Is this insane or am I just insane? Am I not understanding the, the situation at hand here? But I just want to say for you guys at home, don't use your time to prioritize materialistic things. Use your time to grow 
to develop yourself, to really connect with your inner spiritual self, level yourselves up, become the best damn versions you could be. You guys are the best. You guys are the goats. You guys are elite. It's time to start living like a baby. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, see you all in the next video. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.